Hey, what's up everyone? Craig here, and we are in the greenhouse and we're gonna talk about grow lights. Now, I've been using grow lights for the past couple of years to help me in my propagator and in my greenhouse in winter when the days are much shorter, so we have less daylight hours and the plant's growth is gonna slow down. So I personally use grow lights to help start seeds, root cuttings, and overwinter tropical and exotic plants in my heated propagator. Now, normally I use a tube grow light that came with my propagator, but Sanzi, who produce LED hardware, um, they contacted me and asked if I'd review their 36 watt LED full spectrum grow light. And this is a bit of kit that I was actually looking at buying myself, so I was more than happy to say, yes, please send me one and I will do a review. So this is just my initial first impressions, and I will do another video later on when I've been using this to grow um, seeds, cuttings, and I'm going to use these to help boost my house plants. But first impressions, this beast of a light bulb is a good bit of kit. It is pretty hefty. Um, this is the 36 watt full spectrum LED grow light that Sanzi manufacture. And full spectrum means that it emits every single wavelength of light that plants need all the way through every um, part of their life cycle. So from seedlings to full plants, every wavelength that they need come through this light. And unlike other grow lights, which I see hundreds of pictures of online, where people have these suspicious looking rooms with this pink glow all over their plants, this one emits a soft, warm, white light, which I like. I couldn't be doing with pink light everywhere. I like to see the natural color of my plants. And using this LED grow light, is gonna do that for me. It's just gonna look like a bright daylight. And when I say bright, I mean bright. For one bulb that plugs into a normal E27 screw fitting, this thing chucks out a lot of light. Um, I was seriously impressed when I turned it on and do not make the mistake I did. I was looking at it when I turned it on and it was like staring into the sun. It took a while, but when all the dots left my vision, I could appreciate how good this thing was. And I've left it turned on inside over my house plants first, just to see how warm the light got, how the plants reacted to growing under this light. And everything's brilliant. You can see the effort that Sanzi have put into manufacturing this light. The whole casing of the system has so many airflow holes that it really doesn't allow heat to build up even the front face where the LEDs are doesn't get that warm. Now, obviously there's a slight bit of heat, but compared to other grow lights I've used, this thing manages to dissipate that heat really, really impressively. Um, the cone of light that's cast from under this bulb is a 60 degree cone. And all of the light that's cast within that cone is really, really even, which is nice. There's no hot spots of light and dark areas. It's a perfect even cone, which is fantastic. Now that cone is obviously gonna hit a wider area the higher you have the light from your plants. Um, and Sanzi on their Amazon listing for this product have a really good diagram that shows you kind of the ideal height for if you're growing seeds, uh, young plants, older plants, house plants. Um, so I'll put a link to the Amazon product listing so you can check that out and you can see that diagram there. And if you do want to buy any of these products, all of the links in the description of this video will be affiliate links. So you'll be supporting me. I'll earn a few pennies from every product you buy, which is always massively appreciated. Thank you. But because of the size of this bulb, one thing I would say is the lamp if you're gonna use a desk lamp, the lamp that you put this bulb into is gonna to need to be strong. Now, I know you get a lot of flexi-necked um, lamp holders, but because of the weight of this, you want something that's quite strong. Um, I've actually bought a flexible necked desk lamp, which I will show you. And again, I will put a link in the description below. And I bought it specifically for this product because you don't want a desk lamp that has a cone because of the width of this piece of kit it's not gonna fit into most desk lamps if they've got a shade over the top. So I've just got one that's got the fitting in, you screw it in, and then I can adjust where this shines perfectly. And the one I've got has a clip so that I can clip it onto 
the um, staging in my greenhouse if I want to, or in the case where I'm using it at the moment, I've clipped it onto some shelves and I've got houseplants growing at the base of these shelves. And it just makes it really adaptable to what, whatever situation you're gonna use the grow light. But this is really just a, a quick first impressions of this light and I can say initial impressions, I am really, really pleased with it. I've got two of these. Um, I'm gonna use just the one for now. It should have 30,000 hours of life um, which is a lot of growing time. And I'm just going to use it, like I say, to top up uh, daylight hours in the cold winter months, as well as maybe improving the light in the darker rooms of my house for my house plants. So I will do a full review video of this bit of kit with the results that I get growing seeds, house plants, and plants in my greenhouse under the light that it casts. Um, and I suspect the results are going to be good. Now hit subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and you will see the follow-up video and check out some of the other tips, tours and how-to guides that I've got on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out my shop where I'm selling tropical and exotic plants as well as seeds. And now is the perfect time to sow seeds to get them nice and big for the next season. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.